And I've noticed there's one minority group that it's still fine to go after these days, and that is women who are basic. <laughs> Even other women will do it, you know? Heard this girl the other day, she's like, look at this basic bitch. Ugh. Look at how basic she is. I'm like, well, wait a minute, what does that mean? She's like, you know, she drinks rosé all day. She rides around on a giant inflatable swan in a pool on Instagram. She goes to Soul Cycle. She watches The Bachelor. She's got like a Michael Kors purse and a Canada goose jacket. I'm like, yeah, that all sounds amazing, all right? She's living my best life, goddamn. What, are you mad at her because she's drunk and cozy? Those are my life goals. I would love to wear a flower crown and go to Target and pronounce it Target. Yes, please. That is living. It's also a double standard. No one makes fun of dudes for doing... Mac and cheese comes out at seven. I'm getting my parish hair. I'll stick you. No one's calling me out on it. I feel like that joke really struck a nerve in this corner. I don't know. It's... <laughs> Someone need a pumpkin spice latte right now? I can work on it. Yeah. Put in a special order. And recently, I flew on this new class they have on the airlines called Basic Economy. I was like, rosé all day, let's go. That is not what they mean when they say basic economy. Gwyneth Paltrow didn't come up once. <laughs> no, it's a cheap fare, but there's a bunch of rules on basic economy. Uh, you can't get a refund. You have to sit in a middle seat, okay? You have to board last, and then when you get on the plane, they spit in your face and call your mom a slut. <laughs> I was like, hey, if it saves me 30 bucks, I'm in, you know? <laughs> it's like, I guess I'm a sex worker now. <laughs> Thanks, Delta. <laughs> and so I'm sitting in my middle seat, and the guy in the window seat, it was a four and a half hour flight. He's got no headphones, no TV, no laptop, no tablet, no book, a four and a half hour flight. He's just peacefully watching the world go by out his window. And I'm like, wow, this guy is a psychopath. <laughs> Can I call 911 on this? Am I allowed? Yeah, I'd like to report an adult human male comfortable with his own thoughts. I don't like it at all. I'm seeing nothing and I'm saying something. Thank you. Felt much better about the guy to my left. He was building a pipe bomb. I'm like, he's got a project. See how this works? Because I'm addicted to my phone. I can't stay off it. But at least I'm ashamed of it. I don't, I'll tell you who I don't understand. People who brag about binge viewing. You know these people who want to tell you about how much TV they've watched? This guy I know is like, yeah, dude, guess what? I watched eight seasons of Murder, She Wrote in a week. I'm like, yeah, you're clinically depressed. What the hell, dude? How you even do that? You got a catheter? That's not safe, man. 